Act five, scene one, Pam. So, story takes place where we left off. Pamela, Horatio, you know, they're in the woods walking on, just taking a shrek down the woods. And so, when they're walking, they spot two grave diggers. Yes, two grave diggers. And so, these two grave diggers, well, what are they doing, you may ask? Well, they're digging a grave. Yeah, digging a grave. You know whose grave they're digging? Ophelia's grave that they're digging. And so, they're digging up this grave. Pam looks at you know, I'm gonna talk to these two people. He walks up to them, they're having an intellectual conversation, you know, an intellectual one. And so they're talking, and so when they're talking, you know, one of the grave diggers is like, here, have this skull. He takes the skull, and it's like, oh, that's cool. And so when he takes the skull, he looks at it. He realizes, that was my old grave yesterday. He doesn't cry though. He looks at it, looks at the skull, and he contemplates, I'm gonna die someday, and I will be nothing but bones and like this skull in my hand right now. That death is inevitable, and it will inevitably come for all of us. He, you know, has this whole moment to himself, and the great diggers are like, oh, okay. And so, you know, Hamlet and Horatio leaves. So, they leave. They go wander about. They decide to hide in bushes as, like, people are gathering. You notice Queen Gertrude, Claudius, and Laertes are at a funeral. Philia's funeral. Yeah. Hamlet doesn't know this, though. And so, when this is all happening, he's hiding in the bushes like, Psh, <laughs> who are they crying about? And then Laertes throws himself into his sister's grave, and he says, Oh, how I loved my sister more than anyone ever could! Platonically, not romantically, platonically. And so, when this happens, Hamlet realizes, Oh no, my girlfriend's dead! And decides, you know, I'm gonna jump in the grave as well! And so she, he jumps in the grave, he says, Oh, I loved her more than any brother could, or any friend, or any soldier, or anyone could. And Laertes is like, uh, no you didn't. And then he's like, scuffle. He starts scuffling, you know, smacking each other, all that. It's so bad, Horatio, people in the crowd have to just pull them apart. And so Hamlet does what he knows best, running away. So he runs away, and Laertes wants to go chase after him, but King Claudius told, tells him not to. Instead, he sends Horatio after Hamlet. So Horatio goes running after Hamlet. King Claudius goes to Laertes and tries to calm him down. And he says, you'll have your revenge soon. You may ask, what does this revenge entail? Well, King Claudius divided a plan with Laertes before this. And he wanted to challenge Hamlet to a duel. So he's going to let Laertes duel Hamlet. But the thing is, Laertes has a poison sword. He stabs Hamlet, then he's gonna die from the poison. But if that fails, you know what he's gonna do next? The next cowardly thing a, a dad killer would do, like King Claudius. Put some things in a drink. He's gonna poison his drink. Make sure he dies drinking on poison. Like that couldn't go wrong. So that can Act 5, Scene 1 of Hamlet. Act 5, Scene 2 begins with Horatio finally catching up to Hamlet. He catches up to Hamlet, you know, everyone returns to Elsinore Castle, however you pronounce it. And when he catches up to Hamlet, Hamlet reveals Horatio over here, that he changed the letter that his dad sent with him on the boat to England. You may ask, what did he change? He's like, well, remember my old buddies, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern? Well, guess what? They're dead now. Yeah, they're dead. And I killed them because I changed the letter to instead of, you know, me dying because my, you know, stepdad wanted me to die, like he killed my dad, I 
just instead was like, <laughs> not gonna let that happen. Changed the letter, rewrote it, stamped the same steel because I apparently had another one, and just gave that to them. And when I got captured by the pirates, well, now they're gonna go to England and again, <laughs> now, heads chopped off. They're gone, they're dead, they're not coming back. And so they talk about this, how he forged the letter, and then Osric over here, played by Robin Williams in the Ham in the Hamlet movie, comes over, he's like, hey, you know, Hamlet, do you wanna just have a friendly duel with Laertes? And Hamlet's like, oh, okay. And then, and then like Osric's like, cool, well, I'll see you there then, and decides to walk off off the screen. And so Hamlet and Horatio decide, well, we're gonna go that duel, even though Horatio is like, please don't do it. Please don't, don't do him. He's going to beat you. Okay, Act Five, Scene Two of Hamlet. We start off with Hamlet and Horatio going into the ball of where the duel is going to take place. With Laertes, where's Laertes? Laertes, right there. That's where he is. Foreign broads. I didn't change his name. Okay, let's go back to where we were. Laertes is ready to challenge Hamlet to a duel. They're ready to have their duel in this ball right now. You know, Queen Gertrude, King Claudius to there. Everyone's there aside from foreign bras. Yet, anyways. And so they're about to duel, and Hamlet decides to shake his hand. You know, like a gentleman he is. He shakes Laertes' hand and asks for his forgiveness. And they talk for a little bit, and then the duel begins. At first, ah, 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 Hamlet is winning. King Claudius is like, oh no, he's winning. He shouldn't be winning. Why is he winning? And so he decides, well, the chalice now, puts a little poison in the chalice. <laughs> he won't expect a thing. And so gives it to Queen Gertrude. Queen Gertrude tries to give it to Hamlet. Hamlet's like, mm, no thanks, I'm dueling right now. I'm fighting. I don't need to be tipsy when I'm fighting. And so they're fighting. And then Hamlet gets the second hit on Laertes. And so now Green Ger Queen Gertrude is excited. And so in her excitement, she reaches for the chalice that was meant for Hamlet. And Claudius is like, no, don't drink that. And then Queen Gertrude's like, nothing bad's gonna happen to me. Then it's when it all starts going downhill from there. Queen Nurture drinks the poison. She's like, oh, I've been poisoned, dies, she's dead. And then when that happens, Hamlet's like, oh no! And then he gets stabbed by Laertes, he gets poisoned, he's now also going to die soon. And when Laertes does that, he realizes, oh wait, my sword was swapped up. And then his sword gets swapped up. Hamlet stabs Laertes. He gets poisoned as well. And so when that happens, Hamlet calls for everyone to clear the room. And then when it does, he looks at him, the king, Claudius, and he says, You're the one that did this. The king Claudius is like, ah, ah, ah. And then stabs him with the poison sword. And he gets stabbed. He's like, oh, God, God, God. And then. He tells him to drink this chalice. And he drinks the chalice and then King Claudius dies from the poison. And so when that happens, Laertes asks for Hamlet's forgiveness. He forgives him and he dies. And then Hamlet goes over to Horatio and he says, oh wait, it looks like I'm gonna die too. I don't wanna die, but you know, it's gonna happen. And then Horatio is like, oh, let me drink the chalice too. He grabs it and he's about to drink it. And you know what Hamlet does? He smacks that out of his hands and he says, no, you gotta live to tell the story that happened here. And before he dies, he says, you know, by the way, I think foreign broads would be a really good king. Uh, he's dead. All of them are dead. And so what ends up happening is Ostrich appears after he just left, before all this happened, he's like, what, I just left for 10 minutes, then you're all dead? And he's like, oh yeah, by the way, Foreign Bros is gonna show up, by the way, because he's just storming in here. I'm gonna get going now. He leaves, he's gone from the story right now, and so it only leaves two people.
people left. As the ambassador and foreign bras are ready for a battle, they come into the room, and then everyone's dead. Everyone's dead from poison. Like, there's so much poison. Everyone's dead. And he goes up to Horatio and asks him, what happened here? And Horatio looks at him, and he says, there was death, betrayal, father murdering, poisoned, and all. And he's deciding he was going to tell the story, but in order to tell the story, he needs to hang their bodies up on a stage for all to see so he can tell the tale of what happened here. And Thor Bros is like, okay, you know. And he looks at Horatio and he says, you know, Hamlet would have been a great king. He was a soldier in my eyes, so he will get a soldier's funeral. As they take the body away, He's given a soldier's funeral, and that is the end of him.